Alright guys, welcome back to Let's Play The Legend of Zelda Skyward Sword. It's me, the Blade Gamer, of course, and I'm joined by... His sister, the Rubber Mushroom, and I have a sore throat. I have a sore-ish throat, so... Anyway, in the last episode, we were exploring the Sea of Sands, or Pirate... And got to the Pirate's Stronghold, which I assume is the next dungeon in the game. The shark has cavities. Uh... Yes, hey, the keys kind of look like cavities and things like that. I'm just going to kind of ignore these. <laughs> There's really no point to killing choo-choos. Choo-choo. I mean, they, they're slow and... See, they have the ass cavities. That's a good time to get monster claws. Yep. If you still need them, I don't. Um... You don't need monster claws? Oh yeah, 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 because you're trying to get the evil crystal. Okay, so I need to look for a way in because the mouth is closed. And I saw a door, so I assume I go in the door, which is over here. Make the two combine. Or not. I don't feel like it. <laughs> Master, please take a look. This device looks like it's meant to hold a time shift stone, but there's not one currently installed. There's a 95% chance it's the same type of device we've encountered in the Linary Mine. Signs indicate that time shift stones were used in this facility as a power source. Alright, so let's go through here and see what awaits us. Red Rupee, that's always pleasant. Alright, Liz Lizolfos. Whoa. I need the lizard tail. I don't want to let that go away because I just need them. <laughs> what you do? I have five and I need seven if I'm not mistaken. Unless you have it. Uh, used one. Yes, you need seven. Alright, so we have six now. We've already used one lizard tail, so that means. Uh. We're getting close to having the maximum amount of lizard tails that we need. Okay, one of these have you guys. Used a, have you upgraded a bomb bag yet? Yes, once. Alright, then you only you have enough now. Come on, shoot at me. But if you get extra, oh. that would be, you know, great. Alright, I, I thought I could reflect the things, but apparently I can't. You're just gonna have to run across. Okay. I don't know why I just didn't go straight across, but yeah. whatever. <laughs> Alright, so I can't go that way, so that leaves this. Master, please take a look. This object is called a time shift orb. I conjecture that unlike time shift stones we've seen, this device was designed to be carried around and installed in different locations. Well, we've already seen one location. So, let's pick it up. I know I can shield bash this now. Uh, 
There we go. Thanks for whoever left the tip that I could shield bash this. Uh, shield bash Why beam us beams. Back? I appreciate it. Because I'm right here. I know, but what about the other person? I'll go back and check, don't okay. worry. We got a silver rupee, woo! Those are always fun to get. Uh, especially because we're probably going to need a lot more rupees the further we go on in this game. Alright, so I guess I will go back and place it in that original area that we went through. Alright, so coming back from that area, I went back and found out that there's an electric field like this blocking the door that we came through. So we cannot enter through that way uh, to place it in its original location. Alright, so... Ancient flower. Just, and he just drops it. He's like, who? Pick up flower. Much more important. Not like I need those anymore, yeah. but... Um, you don't really have to grind on them at all. Not unless I want to. They yeah. probably, if I'm not mistaken, they carry over into your next playthrough of the game. If you choose to, so... It, it really, you know, it's worth it grinding up double of what you need just for that reason. But, uh, I guess you could debate if it's worth it or not. Man. This really isn't as difficult of a puzzle as I thought it would be. Um. Okay. I see what I'm gonna have to do. I'm gonna have to put it down right here. And go through here. Grab the whip. You might have been able to do that without the whip. Yeah, but I wanted to. Right. I like the whip. <laughs> In case you didn't know. Ah, forget you. You're not worth the fight. Okay, so I got to platform to that treasure chest. Or... Or throw it away, I get it. Uh, okay. No, or place it and run across the sand. Yeah, that's what I meant. Come on, Link. Oh, wow, that's uh, awesome. I'm not gonna scream like I did when I, <laughs> when I got the, uh, ones from the, uh, what is it? The gossip stones because I wasn't as I'm not in as desperate need of them. So, uh, yeah. All right, so platforms here. I don't see a purpose in them yet. Uh, all right, so I guess. Ooh. There we go. Ooh, jelly blob. So let's Squishy. get another pointless jelly blob. Squishy. These, uh, I have 30 now, that's uh, crazy. Alright, so I'm just going to ignore the techno blin as I walk by. Because I do not like those things. I can't see, let me out. Oh crap! <sighs> they outsmarted me somehow. Well, I take that back. <laughs> Shield bash. Or not. Alright. Alright, so. Ow! What shot me? Maybe there's a frog thing. Oh! Yeah, it, there was a thing like that. <laughs> I don't know why they keep doing that. AI thinks you're dead. 
Ah, box. Oh, the, so far this puzzle is simple, so... Let's... You do know that the puzzles from previous games could have just been harder because you were younger. No, I, I didn't mean that they're harder in other Zelda games. <laughs> no, well, no, but other puzzles in general we could have thought were much harder in games, but simply because we were younger. True. And then if we played it at our age now, it would be like, oh, well, that's obvious. Okay, so... Um... Alright, I need to get this treasure chest for... Uh, because there would be an electric field that appears if I didn't. So. Monster horn. Need those, actually. Pretty cool, pretty cool. Uh, Let's see. Red rupee. Um. Yeah, I'd say go ahead and blow up those things in case there's something that comes out of them for some reason. The, the, that and the barrel. Okay, apparently you're gonna need bombs. Oh, yeah, you're gonna be fighting those guys. Well, I don't need bombs for these guys. It might speed it up. Um, but I don't need it for them. Alright, so... Let's get the boxes to get an extra heart just in case. Or not. I'm fine. So... Two of them. Wow. There we go. I'm getting the hang of stabbing. It's just taking a really long time. Alright, so I need to set it near this. Let's grab this. So that I can grab this was it to open the grate. Old? Huh? There was a barbed wire fence around it for some reason, so uh, I needed to place the orb by the. Um, <laughs> okay, apparently you can't roll it. I thought you could, though. One smiling and one's not smiling. Oh, okay, I see what you did there. You oh, yeah, I need the gust. Yeah, I was gonna say you need the gust bellows. Gust bellows. Hey, that wasn't fair. I mean, it was fair, but... Okay, center this bad boy. Thank you. Come on, hit it! Ugh. I hate it when the game, like, because of its stupid cam- not that the game has stupid camera angles, because it's actually not bad compared to some other games that I've played, but because when the camera messes up what you're doing. Ow! Alright, come on. Stop. Alright, I managed to do that pretty well. Even though I got smacked around quite a bit. Alright, so this is the opening area. Uh, nice. Set down here. Whoa. That opened up a lot further than I was expecting it to. <laughs> Mother. 
Report master, the power of the time shift orb has appeared to cause change uh, to have caused a change in the structure. I recommend going outside to further assess the situation.